Hi there guys, I hope everybody is doing really, really well and a really warm welcome back to the channel. Um, sun's in the sky, pubs are open, got my hair cut, I'm feeling pretty good. Hope everybody is in suitably good spirits. Um, so we had the announcement of the new reward structure midweek from Sora. Uh, a few people reached out to me asking for my thoughts on that. Um, I put a poll out actually straight afterwards, which... Uh, just asking for people's immediate thoughts in terms of positive or negative. Um, it's come back pretty much 60-40 in favor of negative, not a huge amount of votes on that. But I feel like that's pretty much where I'm at as well, to be honest. I think um, initially I was quite, um, I don't want to say angry, that's probably too extreme an emotion, but um, slightly annoyed and a little bit fearful, actually, of how the market might react. So I think the the threshold in particular no matter what you think of NFTs, collectibles, so rare in general, that that ETH threshold was a real safety blanket, no matter what the value of your cars and what they're doing. Um, you know, there was always quite an easy opportunity to, you know, over a long period of time, recoup um, your investment from from that ETH threshold. That's essentially been, uh, been taken away. So yeah, I think the biggest thing that really uh, irritated me initially, if I scroll down to uh, this section, of the update, um, not even the, the threshold himself, but to peg ETH to the dollar on all ETH prizes really doesn't make any sense to me, other than an overreaction to the you know the the, the spiraling cost of ETH at the moment. Um, but you know what happens in a year's time? Let's say ETH could double, treble in value, um, and you've still got the same dollar prizes. What does that do to the market? Um, so, you know, it really irritated me, to be honest. I um, I had a small holding of, of ETH independent of SoRare that, that I sold up recently because um, I was already exposed on SoRare. I didn't want to be, you know, overly exposed to, to this one crypto. Um, so this really doesn't make sense to me. You know, why run the auctions? Why run deposits in ETH in the first place if you're then going to peg rewards uh, to the dollar? So in terms of what I like about the the announcement then so I mean in terms of you know tangible offerings or uh, or changes there's not really anything I like about it in the short term but what I do think this does is um, rips off the band-aid really for them and locks in their sustainability long term um, I think this always did feel a bit too good to be, to be true for me I think um, you know I don't see how everybody can win essentially on, on this platform, which with this threshold in place, everybody would. Um, so I think in terms of the structure now, I think SoRare have removed a lot of their uh, a lot of their liability. I think it is a lot more peer-to-peer -peer now in terms of fighting for those top three places for ETH rewards, collecting cards, um, which is not going to put SoRare at, at too much exposure. So I think it's, it's kind of good early decisive action from so rare which um you know it it clears a lot of the problem for them um so see i think this is probably as divisive and as negative as it's probably ever going to be and hopefully we'll see um you know the full long-term product grow from this in a in a healthier spot um that's my initial positive i guess i do think there's going to be a short-term hit to um, some of those lower value cards, you know, maybe in their 30s that might have churned out 30, 40, 50 points a week, um, which there's no real NFT collectible value to. So this is really now where we're going to see this concept sink or swim on those those NFT collectible um, uh, foundations, I guess, which for me, the jury's still out on. This is why, you know, for me, I really like the threshold. I think it was a real safety blanket um regardless of what happens with with nfts or anything like that um you know you had a clear tangible value to to target each week um now that's that's kind of gone um but like i said i do think um it had to go at some point um it it never really made sense to me how this would be sustainable long term with essentially every user winning uh, based on this ETH threshold so now we're going to see most likely some users not making money and some users making money uh and that's that tussle is probably going to go on long term and um and yeah which is a much more healthy business model to be honest so so that's the positive if you are into this for the long term um i do think this takes away a lot of the fears you know that we've seen with football index foot stock of you know how is this sustainable i think this answers a lot of those questions and should put a lot of minds at ease really um so that's the real positive for me and then my final point really is just on the the reaction to the announcement itself. Um, 
apologies to anybody that didn't use football index this probably won't mean much to you but um i remember when um calm berry was you know was doing his thing and the article i think came out from the guardian after uh, the ipd's uh, withdrawal and there was a clear uh, the insecurity and the defensiveness um of the of the community um was more troubling for me at the time than than the story itself so i didn't really agree with with calm berry at the time i was naive enough to think you know football index was was sustainable and and um you know was doing okay financially how how wrong i was on that um but what did scare me on that which was kind of the last real massive red flag and the last lifeboat um, we could have had to get off football index um but I remember reading the reactions to that, reading thoughts on Twitter. There was so much defensiveness. There was so much abuse given to Calm Berry, given to anybody that supported um, anybody that was being negative about Football Index. Um, and really, for me, that was the bigger warning sign than um, the article and what was coming out itself. Starting to see some similar um reactions on twitter um I, i'm not particularly active on the discord but i've heard it's been similar there as well in that there's very much um this defensiveness this this culture of positive 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 from from the existing users which again looks a bit you know it looks a bit fishy to me in some ways um i've just googled the announcement there well, i've searched rather on twitter um even just looking at here you can see a few you know not convinced for so rare, the so rare announcement. Can we stop speaking about the announcement now? It's not that big a deal. Um, was so rare naive, personally really happy. So you can see even one little search there, so much divisiveness, um, so much no, nope, shut up, it's great. Um, other people, you know, maybe a bit more, a bit more critical. Um, so yeah, just some of the hallmarks that I've seen, you know, towards the latter stages of football index. Um, I think if you're really passionate if you really believe in a product you don't need to go out screaming to the world how great it is you just get on with it um so um that's just a little thing that's um it's just irking with me a little bit um which yeah is uh is leaving me a little bit concerned um so my actions since the uh, since the announcements i've actually withdrawn a little bit of eth i was planning to, to reinvest um i won't be selling any players or anything like that i still um yeah, I think it's about a four or five out of 10 announcement. Like I said, I think it really does um, lock in the sustainability of So Rare for me, um, which is, you know, in the light of the recent months and, and what's happened with uh, some similar products, I think um, that's the most important factor at the moment that um, I do think this is here to stay. I think there's a lot of growth left in it. Um, and uh, yeah, in the short term, I can't see... Um, yeah, too many disasters happening around the corner. Um, but for me personally, I did want to um, just materialize a little bit of um, a little bit of cash balance that I had. Um, and because uh, I know how impulsive I am, if I see a good player pop up, I've got the money there, I'll chuck the money straight in. Uh, and I just wanted to withdraw a little bit of my um, exposure, essentially. So, um, so yeah, make your own minds up, guys. Um, like I said, I'm just a customer of so rare just a user of so rare um by no means an expert at all um if anything the other way around um so um so yeah i hope this was potentially helpful interesting um that's that's my viewpoint on the announcement um but yeah thanks again for watching guys have a fantastic weekend hopefully you're making it outside of the house and um yeah i'll be back soon with some more content